I'm Allie Valkyrie, standing in front of an inaccessible public bathroom. Um, just got out of the city council meeting where there seems to be really two separate ideas being flowed about the council. Uh, certain council members seem very unwilling to have the city engage in any sort of program where they need to be running it. And really just, you know, especially Councillor Clark seems to just want the city to be a clearinghouse so that private property owners would be able to offer up their property. But what Councillor Clark doesn't seem to understand is that we don't have those private property owners knocking at the door and I don't really think that's a feasible solution. Um, for the rest of the council, they seem to be divided over whether this is going to be a program that's going to be run or whether it's just going to be open season. And they also seem to be very concerned that they're crafting a permanent solution whereas you know this is only supposed to be a temporary band-aid. Um, I do feel that, that they're concerned about it being a permanent solution or really aren't grounded in reality. Um, I also think that if they try to, you know, overly micromanage this, they're going to end up creating problems that they're meant to alleviate. Um, for example, having, having background checks, I think that that's very relevant in certain areas. But the reality is that people get out of Lane County Jail every single day who have been convicted of felony crimes and they're homeless. And so if we're only restricting legal sites to people who pass a background check, we're still violating the constitutional rights regarding allowing people to sleep if those people can't pass that background check. Um, I think that there needs to be kind of a multi-pronged approach here where we really need to look at some things being privately administered, some things being publicly administered, some things being self-governing and other things having administration depending on the size and the people. Um, I'm glad that they decided not to put forth the current version of the ordinance and that they are going to have another work session. Generally, I don't like bureaucracy, but in this case, I think that's very valuable. Um, I really hope that they decide to sit down with Jean and I and then certain other homeless advocates between now and then so that we can give our views of what will and won't work. I do think that's crucial. Uh, with all due respect to city staff, they're kind of insulated in their understanding and knowledge of what's actually needed in the community, and that leads to a lot of suggestions that aren't really grounded in reality. Okay. <laughs> so do you think something good will come of this? I do think something good will come of it. I don't necessarily know if the thing they try first is what's going to work. I do think that they're determined to keep going, even if, you know, they try a 120-day thing that isn't successful. I don't think that they're just going to use that to, to squash the idea. I think they understand that something needs to be created that does work. I think they realize that there is some sort of workable solution. It's just not going to happen immediately, and that's where I'm with them. You know, try something out. If it doesn't work, let's change it. But don't have it. If it doesn't work, we're going to go back to how it was. Because I think there is an understanding that the current situation is truly untenable. And they want to change it, even if it means stumbling a few times before we succeed. Okay, thank you. Of course.